Hi everyone, welcome back here to another tutorial on Moodle. In today's video I'll be demonstrating how to create an actual quiz uh, making use of the Wares plugin. First I will show you how to install the plugin and then I will show you how to use the plugin. So let's jump right in. Okay, so click on the gear icon next to your name or your image. Click on Site Administration. Okay, so click on Plugins. And firstly, we are going to install the plugins from the Moodle's uh, Plugins directory. So open a new tab and type in moodle.org. Press Enter on your keyboard, scroll down, and right at the bottom you'll see Plugins. Click on it. Now, in the search box, type in Wares and click search. Okay, so this is the plugin that we are going to install and then I'll show you how to use the plugin. So click on Math Type Filter by Wares and then download the plugin. Okay. Once it's downloaded, it will end up in your Downloads folder. When you scroll down, you'll see it's part of a set. So click on the Wares Math and Science. And here you'll see all the plugins um, that we are going to install. Okay, so you can download them one by one. We've already downloaded the filter. So let's download the Eto by Wares. Download it. And this is for the Eto editor within Moodle. And I'll show you how to install it. Download all the quizzes. So this is for the quizzes. You don't have to download this one. But if you're using the Tiny NCE editor within Moodle, you can download this one. But since I'll be using the Eto editor, I've only downloaded this one. Okay, scroll down. Now you can use, you can download the Wares Quiz Commons uh, question type by clicking on it and downloading it. And then go back. Now we can click on the different question types. We can download that. Go back. And then the short answer question type. Let's download that. And then the essay question type. Let's download that. And then the multiple choice and the matching question type. Okay, so let's download that too. So all these question types use uh, the same filter, the virus filter. Uh, and I will demonstrate now how to use this folder. Okay, so once it's downloaded, it will be visible in your downloads folder. So there's all our downloads. Okay, so let's go to our Moodle site. So one more thing that uh, you need to uh, consider is uh, what version of Moodle are you running? Okay, you'll see here that uh, it starts from 3.0 up until 3.11. And since I'm using Moodle 3.11, I'll download that version. But to make sure that you download the correct version, click on version and then select the correct version you want to download. So here you'll see this is for Moodle 3.0 up until 3.11 and this is for Moodle 2.6 up until 3.11. Okay, so please make sure if you're unsure, just go to your Moodle site, go to your site home okay and under site administration you can go to scroll down to the bottom now once here you can click on notifications And you will see right at the bottom, you'll see the Moodle version you are running. Okay, so make sure that the plugin you download 
is compatible with your Moodle version. There's our Moodle site. Uh, let's click on plugins and then install plugins. And now you need to upload them one by one and install them by clicking on choose file. Again, choose file and then go to your downloads folder and click on them one by one, open them and then upload the file. Since I've already installed it um, in my Moodle site, I don't have to install it again. Okay, so once it's installed, it will end up, let's just go back here. Once it's installed, you'll see if you go to plugins overview and then click on additional plugins. When you scroll down, you'll see there's my essay question type my matching question type, close question type, and there's my true or false, and there's my virus quizzes. Also, there's my math type by virus, and there's my math type by virus, the filter, and also the Eto uh, plugin. Okay, so we set now. Let's go back. Now, before you do anything or before you start using the plugin let's go to site administration again and now under plugins go to filters so here we are at filters now click on manage filters and then make sure that my math type by virus is actually on by default it's disabled but you'll have to make sure that it's set to on and content okay when we click on settings make sure that uh, the math editor is selected as well as the chemistry editor okay all these will be you can leave on default and you can click on save okay so let's go back then let's go again to site administration now for the math type for our Atto editor or for your uh, tiny mce editor okay let's go again to plugins then scroll down to text editor okay there's my text editor click on manage editors okay so you'll see here i'm using the Atto editor the html editor um, yours might be tiny mce html editor okay now in your editor click on settings and make sure that um, you'll see here when you scroll down, you'll see there's my math type by virus and the short code is virus. Okay. Make sure it's visible down in the toolbar configuration. Okay. So there you see there's virus. If it's not visible here, you have to copy and paste it by just copying the short. You'll see here this is the toolbar configuration. You'll scroll down. Copy that, add a comma, and just paste it, okay? Since mine is already visible there, I don't have to include it again, okay? And once that is done, you can click on Save. Okay, so let's go back. Okay, so once all the settings are configured and the plugins are installed, we can go to our course. Okay, and for this, I'll be going to Algebra. And I'll select any topic here. But first, we need to turn editing on. Okay, and I'm going to create a quiz here in Topic 1. Okay. So let's go to our Question Bank. Click on More. And then scroll down to Questions. Okay, for our first category, I'll be looking at uh, algebraic equations. Um, so let's create a category under algebra default. Okay, so this is my category. I'll click on add category. And there's my category edit. Now I can click on my category. And now I can start creating my first question. So let's click on create a new question. And now 
in your choose a question type or add a question, you can scroll down and you'll see all your Wireless quizzes are here. Your question types are here. First, I'll show you the short answer uh, question type by selecting it and clicking on add. Okay, so there we go. Now, first, um, my first question will be evaluate. Okay, so I can copy this and paste it below. Okay, I can increase the size if I want to. Let's leave the size as is. Okay, so now this is my Atio HTML editor. Okay, so if I click the arrow pointing down, you'll see there right at the um, end, you'll see there are two new menu items. So this is my new Juarez menu items. One is for maths and one is for chemistry. Okay, so let's click on the maths input and you'll see this uh, equation editor appears. Okay, so there you can see all my menu items I can use and also my short codes I can use. And these are all for mathematics. Okay. Um, let's look at my chemistry. If I click on my chemistry, you'll see uh, all my symbols and everything I can use for chemistry is visible here. Okay, so let's do the maths. I click on the math type. Then, okay, so my first question will be, I want them to evaluate uh, the following X. Okay, so now you can see how simple it is to actually have X to the power of 2 plus 2 plus 2 and in brackets I want um, x plus 7 and I close my brackets I can also do this I can click on select a bracket here and I can type uh, within the brackets x plus 7 okay um, outside the bracket minus 19 where x is equal to 7 okay so there I've typed it now I can click on insert once I click on insert it will insert it underneath the text okay so let's scroll down so my default mark is 1 I leave it as is I can have my feedback here with the correct answer and I know the correct answer will be 58 okay yeah 58 uh, and I can also show them the steps how to go about uh, answering the question okay now when we scroll down you'll see here that um, yeah I can input my answer so let's say I input I can click on the gear icon here and this will open up my uh, virus studio okay so the correct answer will be 58 okay but i can also um, if you look down here the input options the math editor embed no i want the math editor in a pop-up so i click on this one here and i'll show you now what happens if we select this option i go back I can also validate the answers, whether it's lit, uh, literally equal or any answer or mathematically equal or any one of the below. And I can also set a error margin. Okay. Then uh, I can also use variables to randomize um, uh, various answers so that each learner um, receives a different question. Okay. Okay, so let's leave it on 58 and now when I'm happy I can click on save and this is 100% because this is the correct answer. Okay, let's click on save. Okay, so now there's my first question. Let's um, view or preview the question and now you'll see there's my question and now the learners can either click in here and type the answer but if they want to create their own answer, they can click on the pop-up. This will create a pop-up window. And now you'll see here uh, next to my editor, there's a handwriting sign. So when they're on their tablets or on their cell phones and they need to answer this question, they can click on this. It will expand this um, little uh, drawing board. And now they can write their answer. Let's say 
it's 58 my correct answer uh, they can write it with their fingers the answer and it will actually convert it to maths and now I can click on accept there's my answer and I submit and finish okay so there's my answer and it's correct uh, I can also or the learners can also when they try to answer this question let's just go back they click on the pop-up but they can also when they click on the scratch um, pad they can also select the keyboards okay so then they can type their answer 58 so I can click on there and type in 58 okay and accept so two options available one is the handwritten option and the other one is the typing okay and it uh, produces the same answer okay okay so this is the short answer so whenever they have to um, create their own answer or type in their own answer they can use the math type input okay so let's close this okay let's create our second question create a new question again choose the short answer add okay so for this question let's say we want them to factor okay uh, let's copy this paste it here okay so I'll ask them factor let's use our math type okay so I'll ask them to factor x to the power of 3 let's say minus 8 okay so now let's insert so I want them to factor uh, x to the power of 3 minus 8 okay so let's scroll down can provide the general feedback by um, actually providing them with a worked out example okay and now for my answer I know my answer will be let's type it out I can also write it but let's type it out okay so uh, I'll open my brackets so that will be x minus 2 and then in next will be x to the power of 2 um, and you'll see how e it's really easy to use this uh, menu system and that is plus 2x and plus 4 so that will be my correct answer okay um, I can use um, input options and the math editor input pop-up let's click on save so there's my answer and that is 100% okay you can scroll down and click on save okay so there's my second question let's view it preview okay so here's my question factor x to the power of 3 minus 8 they click on the math type icon it opens up and now they can construct their answer uh, let's say x minus 2 open my brackets x to the power of 2 plus 2x plus 4 okay accept now when I submit and finish okay so there's my correct answer and this is how easy it is to use the virus editor or the virus math type to construct their own answers um, by using this editor okay let's go back so now I now next lesson I'll show you how to create the the other question types the close question the essay question the matching question also the multiple choice question as well as the true and false question